Bill and Mary are typical in many ways. They have two cars, two jobs, two kids, and one mortgage. Their son Carl is 12 and daughter Wendy is 9. When Bill and Mary aren't thinking about their jobs or their mortgage, sometimes they think about college for Carl and Wendy and wonder how the heck they're going to pay for it. Their broker recommended 529 plans. Their tax guide told them to get UGMAs or UTMAs. And the PTA president said, just take out loans. (laughs) But all that talk made their head spin. Then they met with their friendly bank on your self-authorized advisor. He explained that 529 plans in the U.S. and RESP plans in Canada are government-sponsored programs that let you save for college. Once you set up the plan, you can buy mutual funds, put them in your account, and they grow tax-free. When you take out money for college, there's no federal tax, and most states won't tax the money either. Their bank on your self-advisor explained why that may sound good, But he pointed out that money in one of these plans can decrease your kid's chances of receiving federal student aid. Because if the people who give out aid money see that money in these conventional plans, they'll assume your students don't need the money as much as some other students. Plus, and this is very important, the money must be used for qualified educational expenses. If money is withdrawn for any other reason before you're 59 and a half, you not only have to pay income tax on any gains, but you're also going to be hit with a 10% federal tax penalty on your earnings. So what if Carl decides not to go to college, or Wendy gets a full scholarship and doesn't need the money for tuition? You're stuck. And of course, if you're trying to grow your college fund in the stock market, you're pinning your kid's college education on a hope and a prayer that a market crash won't sabotage your plans. Then there are UGMAs and UTMAs. UGMA stands for Uniform Gifts to Minors Act, and UTMA stands for Uniform Transfers to Minors Act. Most states let you contribute to an account in a minor's name. You can buy and sell securities in the child's name, and each of you can make gifts of $13,000 per year per child without paying federal gift taxes. The situation is similar in Canada, but with some differences in the details. But here's the rub. You only control the account until your child reaches the legal age of adulthood. From that point on, you have absolutely no legal control over how the money is used. Carl could buy a home theater system. Wendy might use her money for cosmetic surgery. But let's assume your kids do use the money for college. All their withdrawals will be taxed at their tax rate as students because it's their money. But here's the downside. Money in an UGMA or UTMA can decrease their chances of receiving federal student aid even more than a 529 plan because colleges weigh the students' assets much more heavily than the parents' assets. Some families resort to student loans, but loans have their own set of disadvantages. For example, two-thirds of college seniors graduate with loans approaching $30,000, and 15% of recent student loans are delinquent. The Consumer Finance Protection Bureau says college student loans have ballooned into a trillion-dollar debt crisis. That's more than all the credit card debt in the country, and it's creating unimaginable stress for graduates. As the cost of a college education goes up, students are left with more and more debt. In fact, some students are still paying off their student loans loans when they start drawing Social Security. But there's a better way, the Bank on Yourself advisor explained, one that gives you guaranteed growth, has tax advantages, and puts you in control. It's called Bank on Yourself. A Bank on Yourself plan is based on a special kind of dividend-paying whole life insurance policy, coupled with little-known options that supercharge the growth of your money in the policy and make your cash value grow significantly faster than the policies most financial experts talk about. You don't have to die to win with these policies. They can do double duty as a way to pay for college without having to sacrifice your own financial security and as a safe, predictable retirement plan for you. You can borrow from the plan to pay for college costs, and as you or your child pay back the loan, you're recapturing the money to set yourself up for a comfortable retirement. Using Bank on Yourself to finance college gives you more flexibility and advantages than any other college funding method. You don't have the risk of loss due to market fluctuations. The money won't count against your kids when it comes to student aid, which means your child may qualify to receive thousands of dollars more in aid each year. Even when you use the money in the plan to pay each year's tuition, your policy continues to grow just as if you never touched a dime of it, if it's from the right company. 
In contrast to market-based plans, with a Bank on Yourself plan, you'll know today the minimum guaranteed value of your plan when your kids start college. You'll never lose sleep wondering what the market will do or whether your money will be there when you need it. Whether your child is a newborn baby, or a sophomore, junior, or even a senior in high school, you can find out what a Bank on Yourself plan can do for your family by requesting a free analysis from an authorized advisor. Don't you owe it to yourself and your kids to find out? Take the next step. Do it now.